Hey Libra, it's Dana. Deep thoughts with Dana face to face. Yay! Right? We're going to do this face to face today. If you're new to this channel, this is new to me. We don't do this on this channel very often. So um, this is uh, this is a new thing. Um, makes me a little sticky. So do you have some patience with me? It's a little uncomfortable for me to be on camera. So just have some patience. Makes me a little sticky, okay? All right. Um, this is a general reading for the sign of Libra. If you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this reading very well may resonate. If it doesn't resonate with you, just leave it. Leave it alone, right? Leave it alone. Entertainment purposes only. It's just not for you, okay? All right, if you want a reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Um, don't ever make life-altering decisions off of a general tarot card reading, okay? I do personal tarot card readings all day, every day, and I have people that I talk to on the regular who who want more information about the all the readings that everybody's hearing, talking about the same thing, same thing, and they get a reading and it's their situation is very, very different than the situation of the general tarot card readings because everybody is on their own journey, right? And each one of these general readings is just simply a thread that matches up with the planetary alignments right now, okay? So this is not your reading. Get a reading from your favorite tarot card reader if you have any kind of decision that you need to make, okay? All right, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. You seem to be having a bit of a problem achieving the Ten of Cups in some kind of partnership, okay? You seem to be having a problem because we open up with the Ten of Wands, right? This Ten of Wands talks to us about a burden and a struggle. A burden and a struggle with accomplishment at the end of it. A burden and a struggle in a Two of Cups relationship, right? A unified partnership, a unified love relationship can be business, home, family, lovers, doesn't matter, but it is a unified relationship and you are having a struggle and a burden achieving the Ten of Cups. This relationship just ain't working for you. It's just not working for you, right? Right? Devil card comes in and says that this is a relationship that is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. That's what this card says right here, right? And you realize that, Libra. You realize that. And, and what you want is justice. You want justice in the situation. You want out of this relationship. And um, yeah, it's too much of a burden, too much of a struggle. You're not getting what you want. You want out. Justice says truth will be spoken and justice will be served. It's an injustice to be in a relationship where you're unequally yoked or unhappy, right? You're, you're taking yourself out. However, the Eight of Wands in reverse says you're holding off though. Holding off, Libra. Not taking any action right this very minute. Why not? Well, because you're in the Eight of Swords, right? Eights are about, are about movement and change, right? Swords are, are mental. So what are you doing in this eight of swords? You are thinking about movement and change, right? She finds herself in this position right here. Oh, damn it. Hold on. My battery's going out. Hold on. Hold the phone. I'll be right back. Jeez. All right. Got it taken care of. So where were we? Here we were right here. So you're in the eight of swords, right? in the Eight of Swords energy, um, trying to figure out how you are going to get yourself out of this situation, because that's exactly what she's doing. She's trying to figure out how to get herself out of this situation. It's an initial panic feeling, right? A little bit of panic, but after the panic subsides, the logic and reasoning of the air signs settle in and she figures out how to get herself out of this situation. That's what you're doing. That's why you're holding off. You're making a plan to change for movement, okay? To the hermit in reverse. This is about withdrawing, being silent. Might be, might be withdrawing from a Virgo. Just saying, don't have to be, okay? Um, but nevertheless, it's about withdrawing and being silent, and that's what you're doing in the Eight of Swords, right? You're trying to figure something out, and um, you're going inside, and you are you're withdrawing from this relationship. 
to the Nine of Pentacles. You are making a plan as to how to withdraw from a relationship and bring a conclusion, a culmination to the situation. Nines are about fruition and attainment, right? And you are making a plan as to how to you, you are going to attain, obtain your goal of removing yourself from the situation, withdrawing from the situation. But temperance comes in and says that you're being patient about it. You're being patient about it. You're, 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 you're being moderate and you're not taking any action just yet. You, you have some things to think about, whatever that might be for you, Libra. You have some things to think about. You have some things to think about before you take inspired action. Before you take inspired action to break hearts and bring sorrow, grief, and heartbreak. Okay? To the Ten of Cups. <laughs> before you break somebody's heart. And this broken heart right here is going to um, either destroy your relationship or it's going to destroy um, some type of family dynamics. At least momentarily destroy. To the King of Knight of Pentacles. You are, this is slow, right? Slow, this is slow motherfucker. Oh yes, R-rated channel. If you don't like it, leave right now. So this is a slow guy, right? Slow motherfucker. Slowest sign, is slow, slowest card in the entire tarot deck, right? Um, this is a card about assessing the landscape, right? Assessing the landscape and, and looking into the future. Slowly moving into executing your plan to disconnect. However, you don't want to cause a tower moment. You don't want trouble. You don't want to cause a tower moment. So it's, it's going to be a tower moment and you're trying to handle it as delicately as you can to not create upheaval and chaos in everybody's lives. The two of pentacles, you're trying to balance things. You're trying to prioritize things. You are making a fucking plan to disconnect yourself from this relationship. King of Swords in Reverse says you don't want to make anybody angry, right? You don't want to make anybody angry. You don't want to piss anybody off. And that's what's at stake here. What's at stake is somebody coming at you like the King of Swords in Reverse. And you don't want that. Nobody wants that. Who, who would want this guy coming at you, slinging that knife around, all pissed off, right? It's not what you want. You're trying to be very, very diplomatic, typical Libra, very diplomatic about the situation. Hold up. In the center of your reading is the card with the definition of unrealistic. Center of your reading. It's what this whole reading is about. It's about it being this relationship, this situationship, whatever this is for you. It's unrealistic to continue it. Completely and unrealistic. Three of Wands says that, uh, you, number one, you're buying your time. Number two, you're making a plan. Number three, your ships are out there, right? So you're making a plan about, about what you're going to do next. And you're waiting. And you're being quite stealthy about the whole thing. I'm surprised the Seven of Swords hasn't shown up. You're being quite stealthy about the whole thing, right? So you're just buying your time, you're waiting, and you're planning. To the hangman, in reverse. This is a car about stalling, right? It's a, it's a card about stalling. Stalling, stalling, because you, you're making a plan. The strength card comes in and says that that's what you're doing. When you have the strength, when you're ready, when you're, when you're, when you're ready to go, you're going to pull the trigger to the Ace of Pentacles, the manifestation of a brand new opportunity. Okay? So it tells me that not only are you plotting your way out of this relationship, but you also have something else going on. You have something else. You have a direction that you intend to go in once you are out of this relationship. Let's see how that plays out. And plan for your future with the two of wands. Decisions and discovery, right? This is part of your planning process. Dis decisions, discovery, 
progress to plan for your future. This is part of the, the whole plan right here. Because something is coming to an absolute inevitable end. Period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Something is just ending. You are bringing something to an end one way or another. You're bringing it to an end. Seven of Cups in reverse says that you are using diversionary tactics. Just like this whole reading just said, you are not pulling the trigger just yet. You're not ready yet. There's something that's not in place yet. And you are using diversionary tactics to stall or delay this absolutely inevitable ending to the judgment card. This tells me that you're either working some things out that you are postponing making this decision because there's other decisions that need to be made with it. And this card also tells me that you are preparing to make and, ex and execute this decision, okay? So the judgment card, it's about a judgment, a decision. It's more than decision though. I mean, this is the Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn on resurrection day, bringing the dead out of their graves. I mean, that's a rebirth, right? That's a rebirth. So you know that this inevitable death of this relationship is going to release you into a rebirth, but you're stalling with the diversionary tactics, right? You're not ready for this just yet. I want to ask why. Let me ask why. Spirit, why isn't Libra ready for this just yet? Why isn't Libra ready for this just yet? Well, justice to the to the future, to the two of wands, right? Justice to the two of wands. This is um it's a fly. This is um this is um your 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 plan's not ready yet. You don't have your future completely and totally mapped out enough to speak the truth and execute justice just yet you just don't have it all together you don't have it all together i wonder if they'll tell us what it is what is this what is it that libra is trying to to get together before he leaves she what is libra Two of Wands, to the Empress, to the Ten of Wands, to the Three of Swords. Justice, to the Two of Wands, to the Empress, to the Ten of Swords. Three of Swords. Ah, oh, now I gotta keep going. Now I gotta keep going. Okay, Justice, to the Future, we got that pinned. Now we have the Empress, to the Ten of Wands, to the Three of Swords accomplishment you getting to the empress with an accomplishment oh the king of pentacles oh dealing with the taurus huh we have the empress which is taurus and libra and then we have the king of pentacles which is taurus so libra the empress ten of wands accomplishment struggle three of swords broken heart king of pentacles to the Eight of Pentacles, to the Four of Swords. Hmm, hold on, Libra. Hold on, Libra. Let's see what else is going on here. Whoa. Let's see what these are. Huh, so, this is interesting. Okay, so what we have here is another book, okay? So we left off with, with you holding off on bringing an ending to something just yet, right? Holding off on bringing that ending, holding off on the judgment, holding off on the justice to the two of wands because you're not done planning yet. What are you planning? was the question, right? What are you planning? So we have the Empress to the Ten of Wands, to the Three of Swords, 
Empress to the Ten of Wands to the Three of Swords. So, you struggling with a broken heart? You abundance, struggle, broken heart? King of Pentacles? Hold on, Libra. If any of y'all know tarot out there, you might be screaming in the camera right now, Dana, it's this, but I'm not seeing it. So hold on just a second. So we have the King of Pentacles, right? Taurus. To the Eight of Pentacles, working on it. Working it out. To the Four of Swords, been thinking about it for a minute. Been thinking about feels with the Queen of Cups for a minute. To the Seven of Swords, been thinking about... Okay, remember I said I was, I was surprised the Seven of Swords didn't come up yet? But you've been keeping it on the down low. To the Three of Wands, planning. To the Prince of Swords, preparing to take some action. Fucking fly, man. What the hell is going on? Why is there a fly in my house? Okay, I get that. So where does this fit in? The Empress, the Burden, and the Three of Swords. The Empress, the Burden, and the Three of Swords. Empress, Completion, Three of Swords. Empress, tell me, Spirit, tell me about this real quick. Two of Swords, Five of Wands. The Empress. You have a burden. Okay, 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 okay. You, Libra. L you, Libra. It's a burden and a struggle for you, Libra, to break somebody's heart. That's what this is about. It's a struggle and a burden for you to break somebody's heart. To the Two of Swords, right? At a crossroads about... About how difficult it is for you, for you to break this person's heart. And then the Five of Wands comes in and talks about conflict, right? A lot of internal conflict and fives are about change. So a lot of internal conflict about change, right? Hmm. Competition. Strife, tension, conflict. So it's hard for you, Libra, to do that. So that's what these cards right here are saying, is that it's difficult for you to execute this whole withdrawing from this relationship thing. It's really difficult for you to execute it, okay? Remember, we were going back to, I asked why, why you were holding off, and that's the reason, okay, that, that, that you have a hard time breaking this person's heart. Question was, also was um um what are you planning right what are you planning well here's what you're planning you're planning the king of pentacles <laughs> planning either to go towards a king of pentacles person the card of taurus could be earth energy virgo libra virgo libra <laughs> taurus virgo capricorn libra it could be somebody that just simply embodies the energy of this King of Pentacles, right? King of Pentacles is about success and control, and, and this is marriage material, security, power, right? But that's what you're, that's what you're planning. You want to work on it. You want to engage with it. You want to master it. For a sword says you've been thinking about it for a minute. To the Queen of Cups, you've been thinking about, you've been thinking about someone else, Libra. Thinking about someone else? Thinking about this King of Pentacles down here? Thinking about someone else in your fields, Libra? Seven of Swords, I think you have. Keeping it on the down low, right? Trying to get away with something. Not that you're trying to get away with something, but somebody else is on your mind, Libra. Who's on your mind? 
to the three of wands. This is you um, waiting, waiting for the perfect moment to swoop in and tell, tell somebody, swoop in and take some action, swoop in and um, conquer. Interesting. So Libra, are you waiting on another situation to develop before you jump out of this situation? Or are you just delaying because it's really difficult for you to hurt this person, this person that you're in a relationship with, any kind of relationship that isn't doing it for you anymore? Hmm. Interesting. Down here, we have the King of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the let's go the Knight of Pentacles first to the King of Pentacles in reverse, right? This is a disregard for consequences. This is a card of control. Control, okay? So disregard for consequences to control. What these two cards tell me is that you are going to take control of the situation with a disregard for consequences. You are gonna take control of the situation, come what may, let the cards fall where they do, you're going to take control of the situation. To the star card, this star card is about trusting yourself, it's about self-trust. This card's also about disconnecting too. But self-trust, right? To the high priestess, having a sit down with the high priestess, your subconscious mind, your intuition, your higher power, and having a conversation about self-trust. This is the right thing for me to do. I know this is the right thing for me to do. I feel good about this. This is what my intuition is calling me to do. And I think that I need to be true to myself to the Eight of Swords in Reverse. Sorry, this Eight of Swords in Reverse talks about releasing the mental, breaking free, break, being open to new things, open to new perspectives, right? So you're breaking free from the mental. So this little stack of cards right here, and these two right here, is you preparing yourself to actually execute this disconnection. Page of Pentacles to the Five of Swords. Because all your focus has been on, you've had a short-term focus with the Page of Pentacles in reverse on the conflict of the Five of Swords, right? You've had a short-term focus on the conflict, and that's what has kept you from executing your desire to get out of this relationship because you didn't want to cause conflict, right? Temperance to the Four of Cups. Temperance to the Four of Cups. Balance, patience, purpose, moderation. Four of Cups in reverse is going to be about being aloof, a missed opportunity. So let's see. Temperance. So, okay. Okay. All right. This says that you're tired of being temperate. Tired of being temperate tired of sitting on things just 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 tired of it tired of it and that and you're going to execute this decision you're going to execute this decision so what we have is the devil in reverse this is you releasing your limiting beliefs libra the devil card this first devil card right here right this is an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth this devil card in reverse is about releasing limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Your limiting beliefs are an attachment that is a restriction to your personal growth. This is this. Your limiting beliefs is this attachment. Your attachment are, is limiting your beliefs, right? So you're, you're breaking free from those limiting beliefs. And then I had these little cards come out right here. 
they all came out in a stack, right? And I see the story in them. I do. But I don't see the connection to the devil card. See, the story in these cards is the Nine of Cups, right? Wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. The Princess of Cups delivering a message of creation to the Queen of Cups. Feels, 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 the Fool, a new beginning and a new journey, the Empress, and the Prince of Cups. So we get what this is, and if you don't, I'm going to explain it in a second. But I don't understand the connection from the Devil to that, right? Because we have this, this last card of this, this spread talking about releasing limiting beliefs. This whole bottom row is about you actually taking action. Death. Ending. Change. Transformation. So releasing those limiting beliefs about this attachment brings about death. An ending. A change. A transformation. Transition too, maybe. What else about this? What is the connection between these cards that you showed me and the devil? The Nine of Pentacles. Bringing things to a culmination. Understood. But what's the connection, Spirit? Where, where does the devil leave off and the Nine of Cups start? Where does the devil leave off and the Nine of Cups start? Nine of Wands in reverse. Nine of Wands in reverse. Hesitant. Paranoid. Self-defensive. How does that... Someone flip. To the King of Cups. Culmination. Hesitant. Self-defensive. About how you really feel. Oh, Libra, I think we're onto something here. How you really feel. You've been denying your feelings, Libra. That's what this is saying. You've been denying your feelings for something. And that's why you can't find the Ten of Cups in this relationship, because you've been denying your feelings for someone, for something else. Look. You've been denying your feelings The Two of Pentacles, look at these cards. The Two of Pentacles comes in and says, okay, so you've been denying your feelings. The Two of Pentacles comes in and says that it's starting to balance out now. I think that's your justice, Libra, the card of Libra. I think that's your justice, is that you have realized that you can never have the Ten of Cups in this relationship because your feelings are someplace else. That's why you're holding off on ending everything. That's why it's such a conflict for you to break this person's heart is because this whole time maybe you've been in this relationship and they think everything's just fine when in fact you love somebody else. What? Chariot says you can take some action. You can take some action to the Prince of Pentacles because you've looked down the road. You've, you've surveyed the kingdom, right? You know what you need to do. Ace of Cups. You want a brand new beginning in love. Then the sun comes in in reverse and says, you're optimistic, but you're not 100%. You're, you're not overly optimistic, okay? You're not overly optimistic. Let's keep going. Let's keep going till these connect, okay? So you're not overly optimistic. About what, spirit? About what? About what? One cycle ending and a new cycle beginning. A turning point. A turning point. With what? With who? With who? With who? That's what the plan is that you've been making. The plan you've been making is to, is to, I'm surprised we don't see the Six of Cups here somewhere. The plan you're making, that's just too many, I'm sorry. 
the plan you're, you've been making is to take action with your feelings to the person who you really love. I'll be damned. Tell me, spirit, please. King of Swords. King of Swords. Making a decision. Speaking your truth. Speaking your truth, Libra. To the wheel. Ah. Ah. Disaster. Disaster. Okay. Speaking your truth to the moon card. This is um, fear, anxiety. This is your subconscious mind, right? Struggling with your subconscious mind. Need to make a decision. Want to speak your truth, but you're struggling with your subconscious mind. About hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. And temperance. Purpose. Purpose and purpose. Well, spirit, who? What? Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. I told you it was somebody from your past. Told you we should have saw the Six of Cups. Closest thing to it, though. The devil. What's that about? Oh, this is about the bad shit that happened between you in the past, I think. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. To the Queen of Swords. Speaking your truth. To the Three of Cups about reuniting. To the Ten of Cups. To create the Ten of Cups that you could never have created in this relationship because you are in love with somebody else. To the Seven of Cups in reverse. It's illusion. Right? This is about illusion. Yeah, you're not sure that, that this other person, this person that you are in love with. Okay. Okay. So this is what happened. This is what happened. This is what happened. So you were with somebody else. I swear to God, y'all are going to kill it. See me kill a fly. I'm going to do fly, fly, fly aside on, on, on YouTube. It's driving me nuts. So you were with someone and there's a lot of sexual attraction. You're very attracted to this person. But for whatever reason, you have limiting beliefs about them. Maybe it's an age difference, a culture difference, a religious difference, um, a philosophical difference, a political difference, whatever. But there's differences between you. There's limiting beliefs, right? You have limiting beliefs, Libra, about this person that you love. And there's always been either you were with them in the past or you were enmeshed with them, but not completely with them. Okay. And you, and I kind of had, I kind of want to think that you weren't completely with them because your limiting beliefs were, were almost like a, a repelling magnet force, a repelling magnetic force. Right. And, but, but you're highly attracted to them, but there's something that just is taboo that you cannot allow yourself to do your limiting beliefs. Okay. And, um, so you never, you never, you never with this person, right? You, you never got with this person or you were together and you dissolved it because these limiting beliefs were too strong. So you go into a relationship with someone else. Okay. You go into a relationship with someone else and this could still be business or family, right? Okay. So you go into a relationship with someone else thinking that you can create the 10 of cups, right? You like this person. They're cool. You get along. It's all good. You go into a two of cups relationship with each other and you have a burden and a struggle. You have a hard time creating the 10 of cups with this person. You have a hard time finding harmony and peace and happiness in the relationship because you love the other person. You love the other person, but your limiting beliefs won't let you be with them. So you go through this relationship, however long this relationship has been, and you're now coming to the conclusion that, you know what? 
I want the Ten of Cups with that, with, with my limiting beliefs. <laughs> I want a Ten of Cups with, with this other person. And this is your justice, right? This is your justice. But you don't want to hurt the person that you're with because you did make a sincere effort, right? It's not like you played them. It's not like you were a player. I mean, you made a sincere effort, but you're just not feeling it with this person. You're just not feeling it with them. So you're holding off on breaking their heart. Um, maybe this diversionary tactics card right here is you causing problems, is you picking fights, it's maybe you trying to get them to break up with you, but you're, you're, you're not wanting to like outright break up with this person because um, they just been, they're innocent, right? They're innocent. They're innocent. And if you told them the truth with the tower moment, if you told them the truth, there is going to be the King of Swords in reverse. Somebody is going to be pissed off, right? So you're buying your time and you're just waiting for just the right moment. You're planning and you're waiting, right? But what you're planning is to reconnect with this person from your past. You're planning to reconnect with this person from your past because you see them as wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. You want to give them a message of creating a new beginning. You want to tell them about all your feels. You want a new beginning and a new journey with this person. Libra, the Empress, is going to give their cup of love this guy is going to deliver this empress's cup of love, the cup of emotion, their feelings. This is the metaphorical knight in shining armor. This is a card about being in touch with your emotions and your intuition. It's about moving slowly forward and offering your emotions to someone. That's what you're going to do, Libra. That's what you want to do. But you're afraid that this, that this other person isn't going to reciprocate. You're afraid that there is too much water under the bridge, too much conflict. Um, but what you want is, is hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in the relationship, right? What you want is reuniting, right? What you want is this, this lusty devil energy that you have for this person, right? And it, is it toxic? Who knows? Might be. But all I know is that there is an attachment. The devil is the lover's card, you know? The lover's card. The lover's card is the card of Gemini. The lover's, the actual lover's card in the tarot. And then there's this devil card. This is also a lover's card. It is, but y'all didn't know that. This is also a lover's card. But it's the lover's card that is... Um, that, that, that kind of love, right? There's the, the light, beautiful, soft-hearted, warm, squeezy, fuzzy kind of love. And then there's this kind of love, right? I'll be damned, Libra. Well, that's your reading. Took me a minute to get to the bottom of that. Jeez, we're on, we're on 39.